<laughs> as a new Christian, um, when I go to talk to my friends about my new relationship with Christ, what what is the best way to talk to them about it when they don't want anything to do with religion, um, they say they can rely on themselves, they want nothing to do with it, they don't believe in it, what would be a good way to witness to them? Thank you. Thank you. Sure, I'll, I'll have a start. Um, congratulations. I am really excited for you. Uh, fantastic. And, and I know that this is now a difficult season. Uh, and sometimes it feels like I'm going to make the decision to become a Christian and everything's going to be great. Uh, and sometimes it's tougher before it's better. Uh, I understand that. And when I became a Christian... Um, it was difficult on my family in particular. At the time, I probably didn't have the maturity to really appreciate how it would be difficult for them. But my family, I was the oldest sibling, the oldest cousin, the first in the family to go to college. And they sent me off to college as the teenage boy they had always known. And then they get me back after my freshman year. And in, some, in a very little sense, I'm a new person. Uh, and they're finding this very difficult. And they almost had to get to re-know me. And I was saying, look, why can't we just be happy about this? I'm treating you better as my parents. I'm treating my brother better. Why can't we just be happy? But from their perspective, there was this feeling of, well, look, we sent one kid off to college, and we loved that person. We got a different one back. We don't care if he's better or worse. We just want the one that we know and that we love. And now looking back, I can, I can see that that was reasonable. I also feel like there was a sort of implicit criticism that was going on. I didn't intend it, but they felt like perhaps I was claiming that they didn't raise me well because now I was saying Jesus Christ is the most important thing in life, and that was something that they hadn't taught me. And then I think maybe thirdly, uh, probably for my dad, who's probably listening, so you can correct me later, dad, if, if this is not correct. Um, but there was probably this feeling of almost infringement on his turf. Uh, and I give him credit for that, because he took his responsibility as a father very seriously. Uh, and that was a deep value for him. And now all of a sudden I come home, and I'm saying, well, there's this invisible father figure who is now my primary and first father figure. And I go to him first for discernment and advice. And understandably, that could have been really difficult. So I, I share all that with you because at the time, I couldn't see most of that. And now looking back, I can see why that was such a difficult period. In terms of actually explaining your faith and sharing your faith, here's something that I found helpful. Initially, I was a bit overzealous. I got home. I said, all right, everybody, we're having this Bible study. We're all having this Bible study. My family, my best friends, I got everyone together on a Sunday. I guilted them into it. We went through this apologetic book, and we were looking at all the arguments, and I was so excited, and they were probably making eyes at each other. We got to the last session, and there was a prayer in the back that you could pray if you wanted to become a Christian, you know, and I said, I explained the whole thing, and then I, you know, was going to pray this prayer, and you can pray this prayer, you know, if you want to say this too, and then as I went to pray, out of the corner of my eye, I saw my dad go, <laughs> like that, and I think he was thinking, if we all just pray this prayer, maybe Vince will shut up. <laughs> So that's where things started. I was, in a sense, especially with family and close friends, I was too fast, not realizing all of those challenges that would have been legitimate. And later what I did was I had this conversation. I said, look, this is really important to me. Uh, and my life really has changed because of who Jesus is and the way he's come into my life. But my relationship with you is so valuable to me. And that is something I want to have for our whole lives. And in fact, I want that to only get deeper and not more superficial just because we see certain things differently. 
So would you allow me to share what's so important to me? Not because I think you're necessarily going to immediately believe it, but I want you to know me. I want to know you genuinely. I want you to know me. I don't want to be guarding what I say in front of you because then over time we're going to drift apart. And I think if someone sees that actually the desire of your heart is for the relationship in the best way, then that will open doors to be able to share. And it may be quickly that someone sees the light of Christ in your life. It may be very far down the road. Uh, and in my case, with some of the important relationships in my life, it was 15 years. And from one year to the next, if you asked me if I was seeing progress, I probably would have said, seems exactly the same to me. But over 15 years, God was doing this slow and steady but faithful work so that the roots could go deep, and that when people did come to finally accept Christ, we would understand each other, that relationship would be deep, and then we could be in community with each other and with God on into eternity. That would be my hope for you.